strife is o'er the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Hallelujah. The powers of sin hath done their worst, but Jesus has his foes dispersed. Let shouts of joy and praise be sung. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> welcome to this holy sacrifice of the Mass. Warm welcome to anyone who's visiting us today. Thank you for being here and praying with us. As soon as we get nice weather, people go by the pool, eh? Well, you know what's going to happen? It's going to start raining every Saturday night at people. <laughs> I'm happy you're here. I love it. Thank you for being here. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for Almighty ever living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new and holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for God's love stories to us. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas returned to Lystra, then on to Iconium and Antioch. There they strengthened the souls of the disciples and encouraged them to continue in the faith, saying, it is through many persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. And after they had appointed elders for them in each church, with prayer and fasting, they entrusted them to the Lord in whom they had come to believe. Then they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia. When they had spoken the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. From there, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work that they had completed. When they arrived, they called the church together and related all that God had done with them and how he had opened a door of faith for the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among humans. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. 
And the one who was seated at the throne said, See, I am making all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. I give you a new commandment, love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During the supper, when Judas had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At this Easter vigil, we had 17 baptisms, most of whom were adults. People from another faith were brought into the Catholic Church. Why would they want to be baptized into the Catholic Church? One thing for sure is they wanted to embrace Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But another important thing is because of us, the faithful, who come to church Sunday after Sunday. It is their intention to be part of this loving community. Have no doubt about what your attendance at Mass can do. I would like to share a part of a conversation in my youth that I had with a friend's dad who was a Hindu. He was the chief engineer in one of the leading multinational companies. He said, I attend your Christmas mass and Easter services on your school playground as it is a good experience seeing more than 2,000 people attending mass so quietly and reverently. Most of all, when the mass or service ends, there is no shoving and pushing one another. Everybody leaves so orderly. Now this man did not convert, but those 2,000 and plus people were showing God's love without even knowing that it had an impact on him. Therefore, the very act of coming together for ch to church for mass is a starting point of showing our love for one another. We tell our neighbors that there is something more important than sports or dance or anything for that matter. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. This is a promise made by Jesus in the gospels in Matthew chapter six, verse 33. And never doubt this promise even for a minute. Jesus' final commandment before his passion, love one another as I have loved you, as heard in today's gospel, does not diminish or override the previous commandments to love God and to love neighbor. His final commandment is all-encompassing. When we love like God does, like Jesus does, we fulfill these two commandments because we actually love God when we love others like God does. 
We are the hands and feet of God. We give of ourselves as vessels to be used by God so that his love may be seen by others. So for us Christians, what is love? This definition of love by St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. God is love, right? So if we substitute the word love with God's holy name and reread St. Paul's definition of love, this is what it will be. God is patient. God is kind. God does not envy. God does not boast. God is not proud. God does not dishonor others. God is not self-seeking. God is not easily angered. God keeps no record of wrongs. God does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. God always protects. God always trusts. God always hopes. God always perseveres. God never fails. How reassuring to hear the very nature of God. Jesus in turn wants us to be like him and help and love others just as he helps and loves us. Jesus gave completely of himself without any reservation on the cross and about this there is no doubt. The big biggest examples of Christ's love amongst us in our world today is our priests who have sacrificed families, successful careers, some lawyers, chartered accountants, doctors, auto mechanics, bus drivers, and in our midst, one with a successful sales career. Most of all, a sacrifice of their freedom to the bishop and to the church. Can we rise up to this challenge and accomplish what Jesus has called us to do? Can we emulate Jesus? Can we emulate our modern day apostles, our self-sacrificing bishops and priests? The apostles are the foundation stones of the church with Jesus as the cornerstone. Brothers and sisters, we are the secondary stones to be placed upon these foundation stones to build the new Jerusalem at the end of time heard in the second reading, where the old will be replaced by the new. If we truly love one another, our neighbor, we would make attempts to help them be part of this new Jerusalem. If providing money, time, and talent in charity is not possible, we must never forget to pray. Because there is power in prayer. Just as it costs nothing for the air we breathe, but yet it sustains life, so it is with prayer. It costs nothing, but helps sustain not just our spiritual life, but the lives of others. It is only through Jesus Christ, his church, and the sacraments which he instituted can we have a fuller expectation of getting to heaven. Our destination, we know, is heaven, and we definitely do not want to go to hell. The existence of heaven and hell are church teachings and have never changed Unfortunately, in our times, people do not like to hear the, me the mention of hell. While hell is not our focus, we must never deny or forget its existence. It would be irresponsible if we not also preach it. 
because it would be like not warning someone on a trek or hike of the existence, existence of a cliff where one could fall over. Paul and Barnabas, Barnabas took Jesus' final commandment very seriously and made a self-sacrificing journey for a few years to all these cities you heard in the first reading, which are located in modern-day Turkey. 2,000 years ago, this would have been a very long and tedious journey. They took the message to those who did not know Christ, and with prayer and fasting, this community continued to grow. The key words are prayer, fasting, and entrusting all to the grace of God. Trials, difficulties, and setbacks did not deter the apostles and early Christians from loving each other and spreading this love to all because they knew God's grace would be with them. Likewise, we too should not worry about the outcome, but continue to love and trusting all to the grace of God. There is always hope for those who have strayed away. St. Augustine's mother, St. Monica, loved him and prayed for him for a long 17 years for his conversion. St. Philip Neri and St. Padre Pio prayed for their bishops when they went through hardships. We too have it in us to be saints like them. If we allow God's grace to surround us in spite of our wavered minds and stubborn wills. God became incarnate for us to love us despite our weaknesses. Can we then love each other and our neighbors, not just the good ones, but especially the ones with weaknesses who make our life difficult? Hard though it sounds, but this is really what Jesus means. Love one another as I have loved you, which is the surest way to our heavenly kingdom. Thank you, Deacon Bosco. As the people of God, we pray, I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Jesus said, ask for whatever you want in my name, and it will be done for you. With trust in this promise, we place our needs before God. For Pope Francis, that God continue to bless him and his ministry for many years to come, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the church throughout the world that we become more aware of our role as Christ's children, accepting our responsibility to bring his example of loving citizenship into the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all indigenous children who died in former Indian residential schools and for all those impacted by this tragedy, that there may be healing founded on truth and that the Spirit will inspire our ongoing commitment to reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As violence spreads across Ukraine, we pray that world leaders may focus on the good of all people by advancing peace rather than descending further into war. May God comfort the Ukrainian people who are suffering, distressed, and grieving, and may he welcome the faithful departed into his kingdom we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our parish who are suffering, especially Laura McPherson, those suffering from COVID-19, and those listed in our parish bulletin, 
that soon they be granted the healing power of God's love. And for all deceased members of our parish, especially Pat Hogan, Dennis Niven, and Lisa DeAngelis, that they find themselves in the new and eternal Jerusalem, free from sadness, mourning, and pain, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our mass intention, for Sibyl De Silva, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, our God, we believe you make all things new. Look upon us as we struggle to live in this changing world full of turmoil and grant us a change of heart so that through us your son's command to love one another might make the world a peaceful place. We ask through Jesus, our risen Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Let us love one another as we share the true living bread. Jesus is our God and our brother. With his flesh and blood we are fed. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life. We who share the this cup of wine, children of our Father Blessed in are you, heaven, for through your we are raised with God's holy song, everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life, God is God. And cleanse me from my sins. And we're all going to get the opportunity. And we're all going to bow together. At this okay, bow. Table. Good job. Okay. And rise again Good. with our Lord. Riding our wine with our waters. Given to all who thirst for our God. Everyone who loves is born of God. Jesus is our life, God is love. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wondrous exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is a truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, 
and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving thanks, he blessed, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Thomas and John our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us show each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. So do spiritual communion for those who couldn't be with us today. My Jesus, I believe that you were present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you 
St. Afos Ligari, pray for us. No greater love, says the Lord, than to lay down your life for a friend. There is no greater love, no greater love, than to lay down your life for a friend. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Divine in my love, you will hear my love if you keep my commands, even as I kept my father's. There is no greater love, says the Lord.
communion for the sick and shattered. Take this, the body of Christ, to those who couldn't be with us today so that they too may experience a risen Savior. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thanks for good work to do with Sahara for us, okay? Anybody here from this morning made the first Holy Communion this morning? You made your first Holy Communion you made your first Holy Communion. You two, you guys stand up. You two, you guys stand up. You stand up. And we're going to say congratulations to them for the first Holy Communion. Okay, you can sit down. You can sit down now. Yeah, so we finished this morning with our last first Holy Communion, set of first Holy Communions. So we keep you guys in our prayers all the time. You keep up the good work, right? Keep coming to church. Thanks, Mommy and Daddy, for bringing them and helping them on their journey into the heavenly kingdom. Um, members, uh, hang up before I do that. Past the night yesterday went extremely well. We had an awful lot of people. The, the, the uh, what was the word you used? The, 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 yell it out. The enthusiasm, asm, yeah, and, you could, and the energy, the energy of the people wanting to come back, wanting to do things. So it was just so beautiful to see that. So the hall was, was full. Uh, we had a lot of people come up for that. We raised an awful lot of money for the Ukraine. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who did come. And those of you who didn't, thank you for at least keeping us in your prayers and, and supporting us in all the different endeavors in the parish. Now the Knights of Columbus have got a golf tournament on Monday, June the 6th. So that's uh, if you want to golf. Uh, lift up your hands, uh, you know, you guys, go see the Knights at the back of the church, get the, they're looking for golfers. We need 100 golfers, okay? So go see them. And then on June the 24th is the Mother-Father's Dinner Dance, uh, and that's, that's a Friday night, I think, eh? Friday night. So come on out and get involved in those things. Uh, let's see, share life, it's in the bulletin, the golf tournament, oh, Catholic Women's League. This Thursday, 7.30 p.m. after the, uh, not 7.30 p.m., after the 7.30 p.m. Mass at 8 o'clock downstairs in the church hall. Ladies, it's your opportunity to come and get together uh, as the Catholic Women's League and do all kinds of beautiful, wonderful things, reviving the Catholic Women's League. If we've already started and had a few meetings, I think there's a few people uh, that they've got a good group coming up, but come on and join them. Uh, and now I'm going to try and get out there this Thursday as well with you for your meeting. Uh, and St. Vincent de Paul. Carolyn, you're going to come up and talk, please. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, good evening. My name is Caroline, and I wanted to talk to you a bit uh, on behalf of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul here at OLA. Um, we wanted to take this opportunity to say a big thank you for all your support, especially over the last couple of years. Um, with your help, we've been able to provide food to a lot of our neighbors in need. Um, you truly understand the words of, the, of Matthew's Gospel. Feed the hungry, and you've put your faith into action. In case you didn't know, um, when people call us for assistance, we bring food to their homes. Um, all the help that we give is done privately, and the information is not shared. In the back of the church, we've left some of our cards. Uh, so please take some with you. And if you or any of your neighbors or friends need help with food, could be once, could be more than once, give us a call. With the cost of living on the rise, it can be difficult to find the money we need to pay for food, shelter, transportation, and everything else. The Society of St. Vincent de Paul is here to help. We're just a phone call away. No one ever needs to go hungry or wonder where their next meal is coming from. Please help us spread the word and our phone number. God bless you and yours. Thank you. St. Vincent de Paul never died out during pandemic and our closures and that they kept up doing good work. So thank you, thank you, thank you to the St. Vincent de Paul for all the good works that you do. Anybody would like to join them, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, what, do they have to go to one of your meetings or something, or, and when are your meetings? Okay, call the card, the, the number it's in the bulletin too, 
and call the number on, your, on the card and come out and join them. Some people tell me, so I don't know if I want to go and join that. I, I don't know if I feel comfortable going to people's homes and bringing food and this and that and the other. First of all, you're never by yourself. There's always two or more. And uh, it's, it's a great way to help out your, your neighbors and things like that. So please come out. A lot of people who were getting help from the St. Vincent de Paul, all of a sudden are now coming out and volunteering to help out with St. Vincent de Paul. So that's also a very good thing. Okay, so uh, that's St. Vincent de Paul. And thank you very much. You've been one of the, the backbones of our parish for, well, since I've been here and probably way before that. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. Uh, there's four of you that are here today. Saint, who, anybody else here, St. Vincent de Paul? One, two, three, four. Ain't nobody else? Okay, so come, come and join. Come and help. How old do you have to be to join? 18? 18. Okay, good. So again, congratulations guys and thank you for all that you do. Um, we were discussing about this the other day. It is time to come back to church. Simple as that. Uh, we want you back at church. So we are going to continue to do our live streaming mass. Uh, uh, not live streaming, it's uh, virtual mass. Uh, over this, the rest of this month and the rest of next month. And then come July, we won't do it anymore. Uh, for those people who cannot come to church, and I mean cannot for whatever, we'll make sure that they have a connection to a, uh, another place where they can, they can have Mass. But for everybody else who's watching this at home, it's time to come back to church. We want to see you back here. We want our churches full again. We want people participating, coming and receiving, touching God, God touching them in the Eucharist. Please, please, please do that. So, so I'm just giving you the heads up. You've got about six weeks before we start to stop doing this at home. Uh, but, you know, start now coming back to church, getting used to it. Okay, aside from that, please stand. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. I love you lots, guys. Go and enjoy this great weather. Sit outside until 8 o'clock or 9, 8.30 today, or until the mosquitoes come out. Then go back inside. But go and enjoy the good weather. I love you lots. Have a good week. Let's go. Cross candles. Send